What is up, nerd friends? Welcome back to the Nerd Bench. We're going to talk about iBus 2 protocol from FlySky with the new XR3. It worked in the XR2, and it, of course, also works in the XR3, so we're going to show you that. And if you've never heard of this before, it's pretty cool. It allows you to get the data from the speed control, the temperature, the RPM, voltage of the battery, and it'll actually display right on your, your transmitter's face. And on top of that, you get to do speed control tuning from the radio itself. No programmer, no nothing necessary, so pretty cool stuff. So I want to walk you through how to do the basic setup of all of that, because I've done it a couple times now. It's pretty straightforward. Here, with uh, first thing that you're going to have to notice is that you're going to have to pick which channel your speed control is going to be plugged into. I'm going to use normal channel number two and on the side there it says NPC. That's important to remember because that's going to help us designate inside. So I'll take my throttle channel here and if on the new R3 you got those dual auxiliary inputs. We're going to plug the speed control into that channel number two and depending on your FlySky receiver, that's going to be a little bit different. So make sure you pay attention to that stuff. The negative is marked there. So I got the negative over there on the side. We can set this to the side for now. I got battery pack, plug into the speed control, turn the radio on, and turn the speed control on and see if this guy's bound. I don't think that these are bound again. Oh, no, oh, they are. Also to note, if you go through this process and it doesn't work, because the XR3 is brand new, you may have to update your transmitter so that it gets the stuff that it needs to know. FlySky has a pretty straightforward update process for that. I'm going to bind the receiver first and foremost. So we go in here to settings. We go to the receiver set. We go to the bind set screen. Uh, we hold down the bind button on the receiver. Power the speed control on, the light will flash rapidly, it's in bind mode, you tap start bind, the radar goes around, and just like that, it's been bound. So at this stage, the speed control, it does function, you got basic functionality. To get First and foremost, you go to RX interface protocol, and remember we plugged into NPC, so we're going to change this now to iBus2, hit that, you go back and then you go back one more time. So after you set your RX interface protocol here to NPC, see we're gonna set that to IBUS2 like we mentioned, you're gonna cycle the power and then you can back up out of here and you're gonna go over to the IBUS2 screen. You tap on that guy and you see X R3, you can jump inside there. And the only little quirk here is it says servo setup, but it means speed control servo setup. Setup, and then we jump in, and you can see all of the different speed control settings that are available. And you can actually change these right from the radio, so that's pretty cool. You scroll down, you see them all there. And then if you go to your data sense, this will show you the actual output from the speed control right now, which is pretty cool. So we want to see the data coming out of the speed control in our various displays here. So if you you, you pick the menu that you want to select, and then you can go choose sensors and it gives you the one two three up there so first one we're gonna set this one you got to get into the menus and these are the ones that the radio has and you can go down here to what your axe has and you can show those right here so let's go with ESC temperature I like that we'll back out and we'll go to the second one we want to get in there we want to get axe settings again we're gonna get the motor temperature and then we're gonna do RSSI, in case you didn't know, is the signal strength from the receiver, which can be helpful, but we're looking at speed control stuff right now. So let's see what else we got here. We got, let's look at our amp draw, because that's always a fun one. So we back right out of there. And so once we get those set, we get speed control temperature, motor temperature, and the current. And as you can see, as you give it throttle and let go, that goes up and down type of deal. So pretty cool stuff there. So that is a look through how to set up the iBus2 protocol with the FlySky radios. If it has the iBus2 protocol and your receivers are compatible, that should all work for you pretty straightforward. Again, this is a brand new speed control uh, to the series, so if you're if it doesn't show the XR3 in there, you're going to have to update your transmitter. I had to do that as well. It takes a few minutes. You need a Windows computer. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to shoot us an email, NorthAmerica at HobbyWing.com. And don't forget, we do a podcast. It's called RC Stuff Powered by Hobbywing. We give away a free Hobbywing combo each and every episode. All you have to do to find out how to enter to win is listen to an episode. Just look up RC Stuff Powered by Hobbywing on your favorite podcast service. And as always, folks, thanks for tuning in. Another fresh episode of The Charlie Show, new every Tuesday, right here on the Hobbywing official YouTube channel. We will see you all next time.